Lisa here with this true reality. I have a message for you to share. Some of you don't know I am a mom of two beautiful children and I have a testimony to share in the word that God has given us beginning of this year. Beginning of this year, the Lord spoke to me and my husband Andrew that this is a year of trusting Him and this is a year of Psalm 91. It's not just to read it every day, but it's to live it, to practice it and live it and trust in Him. And uh, we've been reading the Psalm 91 with my husband every single day and declaring over our family. So I don't know what you're going through or um, I just want to encourage you that this is a season that God has your back. And no matter how long of a dark tunnel, but there is a bright side at the end of the tunnel. So we are going to trust and believe God for your breakthrough, your blessing. And from the January 1st to the April 1st, it's 91 days. And on the 91st day of this year, God brought us a bright side over the tunnel. After the sore of the night, He brought our, at the, the early day of the morning, He brought us a beautiful girl, a joy, and her name was Aviva Bella. It means us joyful spring and beautiful. So God is so faithful. So I want you to leave you up with a word of Psalm 91 and uh, declare it over you and your family. He who dwells in the shelter of Most High will abide in the shadow of Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my, my fortune, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snares of the flower and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the air that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, a ten thousand at your right hand, but will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked because you have made your Lord your dwelling place. The Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall allow to befall you or no plague will come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the serpent you will trample under foot. Because he who holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him, I will protect him, because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I just want to pray with you today. I want to just surrender everything that you're going through to Jesus. I want you to grab on to him because it says in the word of God, when you call to me, I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. With a long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation, my deliverance, and my victory. He will show it to you. So, dear friends, just let's bow our hands and pray. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I pray that your deliverance and your hand will be upon my family. Say, Dear Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. Wash me and cleanse me and set me free today. Heal me. Lord, heal my family and set us free. Deliver us and wash us and cleanse us with your blood of Jesus Christ. Be my Savior. Be my Deliverer. Be my King. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I just pray that Lord Jesus will touch you and heal you where you're at. No matter what you're going through, surrender. Surrender it to Jesus. Give it all to Him and He will bring a deliverance and salvation to your family. 
trust me and he'll bring such a joy at the end of the tunnel there's always a bright side so please please visit us at the streetreality.org or visit us on facebook street reality spokane god bless your friends and trust jesus christ